Our next step is to make it so that all of the photos are on the stage for the same amount of time, but we want to spread them out so that we can reveal what's, um, what's coming on the timeline. So to understand a timeline a little bit better, this is the uh, route that we want to go. Now I'm departing from our book just a little bit. Uh, I like to do uh, multiple things at the same time. It saves us time uh, to get this project underway. So I want to take all of the keyframes here at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to move in a little closer. And I want to make them all dragged over so that we shorten the time they are also on the stage. So by clicking and dragging across the keyframes, just those frames, okay, I let go. Then click and, oh, I keep doing that. Right click, click and drag them over to frame 24 as a set. Now I have all of my photos on the stage for one second, plus I have a set of blank frames right in here. Okay, these first frames You'll see uh, whenever you have an image or anything on the stage and it does not appear until a later uh, frame, then you'll have this, uh, these frames, these blank frames to fill it in. The keyframe is empty, so that means there's nothing in there. And then the little box at the end means that that is the last frame in the set. All right, so I have a bunch of these uh, set over, but I still have them stacked on top of each other. And to make it possible so that I have them, we see them one at a time, is I need to move over um, several of these photos so that I can reveal the ones underneath. Here we have the stage all by itself and then we have the photos coming in. And I like to do things all at once. So I could double click on the keyframe or one of the frames in uh, this, this set of frames and it selects the whole thing and we can click and drag and move it over. You can tend to move these all around and you don't want to let go until you know where uh, you're going to be leaving it. So I push it over, okay, and that means that um, I have delayed it from being on the stage for longer, this first photo. And again, it fills in with blank frames, so it's not on the stage at that point. Okay, but I want to do this so that it's kind of a set, so I'm going to undo what I just did, and I'm going to click away from everything and I want to select three photos uh, because I can select them all at once. If I click in the very first frame and then in the opposite corner from it that I want to select, um, if I hold down my shift key, then I can select a whole set. Okay, Or click in one corner. Ah, I don't want to do that. Click in one corner and drag. That's a little trickier because you can tend to move things around. <clears throat> and I want to drag this across. And now I've got these frames staggered. And again, easier to click in the first one. Hold your shift key down and click in the opposite corner of the frame sets that you want to move. Okay, and I need to move this over. Okay, manipulate the uh, timeline. I'm going to deselect both of those by clicking in an empty spot. In this last one, I'll double click and drag it over. Okay, now you notice that the background is no longer there. And I need to extend its um, amount of frames that it is on the stage to the end of my slideshow. Okay, so that I don't 
need to do anything except select that last frame okay right click and insert frame and now we have the background and these photos so that they come onto the stage one by one.